All right. So um, we have two methods. Okay. So the model that you that you that you obtain, okay, is based on the the interpretation. Okay. So if we interpret the bridge to look like this, that involves the Q1 and Q2, quadrant one and quadrant two. That means uh, you have a different answer compared to the second method. Okay. So the first method, this one uh, is negative 335. This one will be the um, about 0, 05. And this one is, it is 335. Okay. Using the second method, okay, we assume that this is 30, no, it is 0, 35. So this one is 300, right? Okay, let me know if I make any mistake. Eh? So this one would be uh, 305. And this one is total of 600, so 635. So we know that the C for this one is 5. The C for this one is 35 because the, the curve passes through the Y axis at 0.5 and at 0.35, okay? So you have to use Y equals to AX squared plus BX plus C and sub in the value of the first coordinate and the second coordinate, okay? You have to do one by one. Lah. So I'm going to show you the first, um, the first example, eh? So this is 35, uh, the A is A lah, and the X is negative 300 to the power of 2 plus B and the X is the same value and the C that we got just now was 5. Okay, so calculating this will give you, um, uh, it, will give, it will give you 90,000 A minus 300 B equals to 30. Okay, and then for the second equation, Okay, second equation, it is 90,000 A plus 300 B equals to 30. Betul tak? Mm, yeah. Okay, so solving this will give you B is equals to 0 and A is equals to 1 over 3,000. Okay, so you will get a uh, complete equation y equals to ax squared so that means 1 over 3000 x squared plus bx and the b is 0 so we need to write the 0 plus c so our c is 5 so this is the first model okay that we get from the first interpretation here second interpretation since c is 35 i'm going to sub in the value of okay so the first one is 35 the a is uh, a lah and the x is 0 squared plus b, and the x is 0. Yeah, I bought up here. Kejap. Kenapa ambil ini? Sorry, sorry. I, I, I have to choose this second value here. Second and third. Sorry, I chose the wrong one. Okay, so this one is 5. This one is a 300 squared plus b 300 plus uh, 35. 35 we got from the intersection. Okay, so solving this will give you, um, if I'm not mistaken, it is 90,000 A plus 300 B equals to negative 30. So you sub in and you get the second equation as um, 361234 A plus 600 B equals to 0. When you sub in the 635 into Y equals to AX squared plus BX plus C. So solving all this will give you A equals to... 1 over 3,000, the B is negative 1 over 5, and the C that we got from the from the graph is uh, 35. So you can write Y equals to 1 over 3,000 X squared minus 1 over 5 X, uh, like here, plus 35. This is the second model, okay, based on the second interpretation. So we're going to stick to the first method. Okay, and we're going to use this formula in C later on. Okay, all right. So now let's do the B. If the suspended cables are 20 meters apart, determine the number of suspended cables needed on both sides of the bridge. Okay, so we know that the length of the bridge is 600 meters, right? So before we go to that example, I mean, before we go to that question, I'm going to use this situation first for you to imagine. Okay, let's say uh, I have um i have a uh, kejap eh different color lah okay okay so let's say i have a 60 meter bridge okay and i want to put the suspender cables okay on the bridge 
and the cables are 20 meters apart. Okay, don't forget that I have the concrete tower on the left and on the right. So if 20, meter, 20 meters apart, that means the, the, the suspender cable will be something like this, right? One, two, three. Okay, so this is 20 meters apart, another 20, and the last 20 here. All 20 meters apart. Okay, how many cables do I need? Okay, you cannot say that I need four. It is wrong because why? Because these two are the concrete towers. These, the green one, the green vertical lines are the suspender cables. So how many do I need here? I need only two. Okay, how do we do the working? It is a 60 over 20. You get three, right? So three minus one. So you have two suspender cable. Okay, now let's look at this situation. When I have a 100 meter bridge, okay, with a concrete tower on the left and on the right, Okay, and I want the suspender cable to be, um, let's say, 10 meters apart. So if it is 10 meters apart, that means I need to have 10 parts here, right now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 times 10 is um, upper 100, lah, 100 meter. So how many cables do I need? So you just have to consider the one with blue lines. Okay, why can't you take the pink line on the left and right? Because those are the concrete towers. Okay, so how many here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means 100 over the 10 parts minus one and I will get nine. So this is the working that we are going to do. Okay, the length of the bridge over the distance apart minus one. Okay, so if we go back to the question, Okay, so the bridge is 600 meters, okay, the length. And don't forget that we have the, uh, the, the concrete tower on left and right side, and it is 20 meters apart. So 20 meters apart, so that means you will have to draw like this, and it is 20 meters like this, All right? So the working will be the length of the bridge over the distance apart, which is a 20 minus 1. So what did you get here? 600 over 20 will give you uh, 3. You know, it will give you 30. 30 minus 1 is 29. But the 29 is only for the front part of the bridge. Okay? Don't forget the behind part here. So what you have to do is you have to multiply. So 29 times 2, you will have to need 59, uh, 58 number of suspender cables. Okay, this is for both sides. All right, so I hope it is clear enough. All right, so now to do C, we are going to determine the type of material that should be used to make the suspended cables such that the total cost of the cables is minimum. So we have three types of material here with different prices. Okay, so material A is the cheapest per meter and C is the, uh, the, the highest price, okay, highest cost. Okay, but let's see. Okay, so I'm going to share with you my Excel. So this is my Excel. Okay, so remember the formula that we are going to use is the, the y equals to 1 over 3000 x squared plus 5. Okay, we are going to stick to this formula. All right, so what we are going to do is, okay, we have three tables because we have three materials, right? So the A is when the distance apart is 15 meters. So the second one, when the distance apart is 20 and the distance apart from material C is 25 meters. All right. So, good job. Okay. This is the diagram that I'm going to need to think. Okay. So distance from center. Okay. Distance from center, that means the middle part here. Okay. In the question, we have only one uh, shortest cable and that is located at the middle, right? Okay, so the length is what? The length is 5 meters as given in the question. Okay, so 5 meters here, 5 meters here. So why I put 10 here? Because the length of suspender cable on both sides. So here is 5, this one is also 5. Total of 10 if you are using material A. Okay, uh, second one is when we have the next cable which is 15 meters apart from the first cable here, from the center. I'm going to label this one as center lah, okay? So, good job. I'm going to move this one first. All right. 
Okay. So 15 meters apart will be this cable here. One, two, three, four. Okay. That means the 15 meters apart will be like this. Uh, this is 15 meters apart. Okay. We are going to determine the length of this blue cable. Okay. How are we going to know the length? So we have to use the formula of y equals to 1 over 3000 x squared plus 5. What is the value of x? The value of x is here. These are the values of x. Okay. So since we are going to find the second row, that means we are going to sub in the 15. So y equals to 1 over 3000, 15 to the power of 2 plus 5. So when you use your calculator, you will get 5.08. So just now this one was 5, right? So this one is 5.08. Okay, so if I click my 5.08 in my Excel, you will notice that there's a formula written here. So this formula is actually taken from this formula. Lah. Okay, the one that you generate from the uh, first interpretation. But you have to write in a, a formula that is uh, used in Excel. Okay, the Excel must understand your formula. You tak boleh simply hentam, cannot. Okay, so you must be good also in your computers. Okay, especially in Excel. Okay, Excel memang banyak formula. Okay, so here, if you look at this one, length of suspended cable. Okay, when I click on the 22.3, you will notice that it is C8 times 4. Where C8? C8 is the column C. Okay, multiply with uh, row 8. So 5.08 times 4. Okay, why do I do that? Okay, because if you refer to the diagram, we have four blue cables here. And these blue cables are all 15 meters apart from the center. So you get 20.3. Okay, actually girls, I just do my calculation for the first, I mean for the second column only, for this one only. Okay, the rest, after I key in my formula, Okay, I just put my cursor here and I just drag and the Excel will calculate for you. Okay, that's why using Excel is much, much more easier. Okay, you tak payah kira manually. Kalau you kira manually, maybe it will take you about 30 minutes for you to complete all. Okay, tapi kalau guna Excel, within 5 minutes, more dah siap. Alright, so um, yeah. If you, okay, if you notice for 15 meters apart, the maximum value here I put is 285. Okay, why don't I take 300? Because if I touch the 300, that means I catch out the concrete tower already. So that means the values that you chose here must be less than the 300 meters. Okay, for your information, this uh, this working is only for one part tau. Uh, so that's why when we, want, when we want to find the total length needed for the suspender cable, I have to times 4 here. Okay, so that I have first part, this one is the second part, behind is the third, and this one is the fourth. Okay, so some of you might ask, okay, why teacher this one is 10, and why don't you multiply this one with 4? Make it 20, because the rest you multiply by 4. Okay, you tengok at sini. When I click the 10, there's no formula, right? My formula for the this column D will start here in the second row. Okay, why is that? Because, okay, we have only two shortest suspender cable okay one side uh, one on this side and the other one on this side only two so that's why you see here five times two five times two you get ten 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 but the rest you have times with four this one times with four this one also times with four if you refer to the formula here okay and then all right so let's look at material b okay in material b okay it is 20 meters apart so 20 meters apart, of course, you cannot use the same value as this one. Okay, this one is multiples of 15. This one will be the multiples of 20. So how are you going to get the formula of this? Again, using this one here. Y equals to 1 over 3000 X squared plus 5. So what is the value of X that you need to uh, sub in here? It will be the value of 20. Put into the formula. Okay, and I actually use a formula like this. 1 over 3000. Okay, times G8. Okay, to the power of 2. We use the V terbalik and then plus 5. Okay, so this is the answer that you get. Why plus 5? It's the formula, girls. Ah, it is in the formula, the model that you created. Okay, so the one that I highlighted here, the yellow, the blue, and the green column, the box, is actually the total of, um, of a total length of the suspender cable needed for both sides of the bridge. 
okay so from these values these three values okay i'm going to put it into this table here so you see eh? to find the total cost needed okay this is actually the what the total length needed for material a 1131 this is meters huh? so multiply with the cost for one meter which is 750 you get this answer next a31.33 is the total uh, meters needed for the suspender cable for material b multiply with 1000 you get this one and this is the amount that you need if you are using the uh, material c okay for your information the answer for these two is different from the one in the textbook i don't know why okay so i assume ada kesilapan lah okay but my working is all correct already okay so the question asks determine the type of material that should be used to make the suspended cable such that the total cost of the cable is minimum so which is the minimum cost now it is material c so you have to write your conclusion lah okay so c is a type of the uh, is a type of uh, material that should be used to make the suspender cable because it produced the minimum uh, the least cost lebih kurang contohlah you just arrange your sentence okay uh, because I didn't write my conclusion here, you have to write the conclusion. You choose material C because it is the cheapest, uh, for example. Okay. All right. Any questions or not for this question four? I know it is complicated. It is very complex, but this is what the engineers use, okay, to, to predict, uh, to see uh, whether they can um, save costs, okay? Because my husband dulu pernah kerja dekat Panasonic, Singapore. So uh, his team... Uh, tugas dia is to create a radio tapi canggih punya radio Panasonic eh uh, with very very minimum cost so for example um, kita panggil apa eh I, I don't know what it's called in Malay lah tapi in English it is called motherboard where they have to put all the electrical components it's a green board lita kita panggil I'm not so sure lah okay I'm not so sure whether it is called lita ke apa it's a green board so for example we take one component eh contohnya capacitor Okay, they have five types of capacitor. So they have to choose which is the best capacitor that will give optimum results. Okay, for example, volume yang best, I mean a volume lah, audio yang best, but very little cost. Uh, so they have to study using mathematical modeling. Okay, so this mathematical modeling is very widely used actually in overseas. Cuma kat Malaysia mungkin tak banyak because we are uh, we don't really explore the R&D, okay, research and development. Tapi kalau overseas, Singapore, Japan, Korea, memang they use uh, mathematical modeling in most of the areas lah. Okay, so that's it. End of chapter 8. End of our syllabus. Congratulations. So penutup dia lah. Uh, it's a very complex uh, topic. But I think it is fun. Okay, two things that you need in chapter 8 are, the first is creativity okay you must be able to think creatively making assumptions you know you have to think out of the box and you need to have strong foundation in maths okay because you need to apply whatever that you have learned even from primary one until one two three four five six and then you continue until secondary one until secondary five um, so you have to apply that okay even contoh eh contoh case roti canai kalau you pergi makan roti canai kat kedai mama Okay, we can apply mathematical modeling. How? Maybe the radius of the roti canai, or maybe the circumference of the roti canai, the amount of flour that you need to use in order to make a one nice roti canai, crispy roti canai, you know, things like that. Uh, so they can study using mathematical modeling. Okay, contoh, kalau you pergi masjid, okay, for the Malays lah, okay, for the Muslim, katakanlah laki pergi solat Jumaat, okay, every Fridays. And setiap kali semayang Jumaat, kasut, uh, slipper hilang. Okay, what are your assumption? Maybe assumption, the first assumption, uh, your sandal nampak cantik, branded. Uh, second one is what? Maybe you forgot where you put. Okay, the third one apa? Okay, so those, actually those are real problems yang you can actually apply maths. Uh, tanpa you sedar. Okay, so that's why I say it is fun actually. Especially, especially when I give you a uh, group work nanti, uh, you will do research and you will see the beauty of maths okay